All right, welcome back to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. If you're new to the channel, it's good to have you. Thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. And if you're someone who's been subscribed to me for a while or been watching my videos, I greatly appreciate having you. Thank you so much. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my full-size Star Wars helmet collection. About a year ago, I did a video overview of the entire collection and I went over where I had gotten some of them, what they were made of and things of that nature. However, in that year, my collection has changed greatly to include some additions of new helmets, some new suppliers discovered, and the addition of some really cool lighting. So I thought here in the middle of 2021 June, it was time to do an update. Come on, let's take a look at the collection. Okay, we'll start with an overall look at the collection here. As you can see, they're displayed in an upstairs bedroom in my room, and I have them in three Detolf cases, which I installed lighting in myself. I'm trying to go for a theme here. So as you can see at the top, that would be pilots and drivers with the Mandalorian helmet in the middle. We'll describe what's going on there in a minute. On the right over here is the evolution of the basic Stormtrooper helmet. In the middle, I have what I call my Special Forces and Officer section. And on the far left, those are variations of the standard Stormtrooper helmet. Let's get in there and get a closer look at those. Okay, to start off with, we have the standard TIE Pilot helmet. That came from a Novos and it is made of ABS plastic. This is actually the Lieutenant Oxizo or Oxizo variation, meaning that it has the silver running through the top of the helmet and the Arabesh characters in front there. Next to him, we have the Mandalorian helmet from The Mandalorian Show. This is the Hasbro helmet that was recently released this year. It's one of my newer helmets. Next to him, we have the ADAT or ATAT, -AT, depending on your preference, helmet. These guys seen in the Empire Strikes Back driving those big four-wheeled vehicles. This one is from Anovos and is also made of ABS plastic. Moving down below, we have the Patrol Trooper helmet. This was from Solo, A Star Wars Story, and this guy was briefly seen on screen chasing our heroes through the shipyards on Corellia before they escaped from the planet. And this one comes from a studio called Branfer Studios. Next up, we have the Shore Trooper helmet. This one is from Anovos and is made of sturdy fiberglass and metal parts inside. It's a really good helmet. It was really expensive unfortunately as well. The next helmet we have is one that I also purchased this year. This is from a private maker called Dave's Armory in Italy. And this one is a resin cast and it's pre-weathered as you can see when you get the helmet and they did a really good job on it. As we move down the line, this is the Incinerator Trooper helmet from Anovos. And you'll notice that the markings on this one don't quite match the standard Incinerator Trooper, which was recently released by Hasbro. And this does not look like the one that was in The Mandalorian. This, as I understand it, is the specific deco that comes from a video game. But I like this one, and so this is the one I display. Next up is my Scout Trooper helmet. This one is just a thing of beauty as well. This comes from a company called EFX Collectibles. And as you can see, it came with its own plastic stand and a little nameplate on the front that comes with it. Just to the left of it is the trading card for my buddy who's in the 501st in Southern California as a Scout Trooper. I thought that would be a nice addition to display with the helmet. Next on the list is the second iteration of the standard Stormtrooper Clone Trooper helmet. This is the Phase 2 Clone Trooper from Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. This is also a resin cast fiberglass and it is made by a company called Armory Prop Shop, another private vendor. Just a great looking helmet. This one is one of the more unique helmets in my collection in as much as I modified this myself. This started its life as a Black Series Incinerator Trooper helmet, which I then taped off and painted myself so I could have a Mortar Trooper helmet. Now, of course, Hasbro will probably release a Mortar Trooper helmet at some point in the future, but until then, I have this one. And I was kind of proud of my patience on this one because that's normally my strong suit, or not normally my strong suit, and how it came out. So it's a fun addition to my collection. And this is what I always tell people is my favorite helmet in my collection. This is the Death Trooper helmet from Rogue One. This one is made of strong, sturdy fiberglass and good quality plastic and metals, I think, on the front there. This one also came from a Novos. It was a little pricey, but totally worth it. And I love this helmet. It's a great conversation starter. 
And this is my standard Rogue One or A New Hope Stormtrooper helmet. This is just a Black Series helmet that was given to me by some employees of mine back when I was working for a large company here in Phoenix. Now I have some other Stormtrooper helmets in my collection and some that are actually pricier, but this Black Series helmet it has a bit of a sentimental value to me because it was given to me by my workers and so it gets a special place in my cabinet. On the bottom of the Stormtrooper Variations Detoff cabinet over here is the final helmet in this four pack. This is the Black Series Shadow Stormtrooper, which I just thought was beautiful. The gleaming black on there with the blue accents and the silver teeth just is a great looking helmet. And I did an unboxing video on this one if you're interested in checking it out on my channel. But that rounds out the four Stormtrooper Variation helmets that I have. Now this is kind of the odd man out, so to speak, of my Stormtrooper helmet collection. This is actually an Imperial Officer hat, belt, belt buckle, and commander plaque. Now the hat with the metal greebly, the belt buckle and the belt with the metal greebly came from a company called Imperial Boots Online. And to be honest with you, I'd had that rank plaque for so long, I can't remember where it came from. But I just think this looks great in the collection and kind of rounds out the Special Forces cabinet for me. And finally, rounding out the cabinet of basic Stormtrooper helmets is the First Order Stormtrooper helmet from the second two movies in the sequel trilogy. It's important to note that this one is slightly different from the one that we see in Phantom Menace. This one is the Black Series First Order Stormtrooper helmet that has the teeth in it, the slightly narrower frown, and a little bit of differences on the side. But I love this helmet. It looks great. And as a matter of fact, it replaced my Anovos First Order Stormtrooper helmet, which we'll be getting to here soon. And it now rounds out my cabinet of four basic trooper helmets. Now what we're looking at here is my Sideshow Collectibles full-size Stormtrooper statue. But we're gonna take a quick break so that I can let you know that if you have any questions about any of these helmets, you'd like more information about any specific helmet, or just have some comments, make sure you put those below. And be sure to look out on Paul's Collectibles channel here on June the 5th, a Saturday, coming up here real soon at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, and I believe eight o'clock at night in the United Kingdom, we are going to be doing a live stream, a one-off live stream called the Dome Pieces, where we will discuss these helmets with my friend, Luke Reynolds from the United Kingdom, who has a channel called Reynolds Reviews. He's also an avid helmet collector, and we will be answering specific questions that anybody leaves here, or if you'd like to jump in live with us and ask some questions about the helmets or helmet collecting in general, we'd love to have you. Now, I talked briefly about this Sideshow Collectibles statue as I was giving you information about our one-off live stream. And I told you earlier in the collection video that I have several basic Stormtrooper helmets. This is number two of those. You saw the Black Series earlier. This is actually an EFX Stormtrooper helmet made out of a good, strong ABS plastic. It is not the helmet that's supposed to be on this statue, but I prefer it. And so consequently, I decided that I would display my EFX Stormtrooper helmet on top of the Sideshow Collectibles full-size statue. Now, what we're looking at here is the actual helmet that's supposed to go with the Sideshow Collectibles statue. It's an interesting helmet. It's not quite as I don't know, detailed or doesn't have the same proportions as the EFX helmet. And it's still a great helmet and I love displaying it. It's full size and you can get it on your head. But I prefer, like I said, the EFX helmet on my Sideshow Collectibles statue. So this resides on a shelf on top of an amplifier in my Star Wars room. And finally, this is an Anovos standard Stormtrooper helmet that actually comes with their entire suit of armor that I bought several years ago. If you're interested in seeing an unboxing on that, there's actually a video on my channel where I did that. It's one of the earliest ones I did. But since I had so many other helmets and I wanted to modify this helmet, I decided to turn it into the completely non-canon, absolutely made up tactical operations Stormtrooper. And I ended up painting the rest of the armor in this gray and black color scheme as well. And he's displayed in the corner of my Star Wars room on an Anakin. Not an Anakin, a mannequin. <laughs> 
So there you have it. There's my 2021 update of my Stormtrooper helmet or headgear collection. All 18 of them, minus the Anovos helmet because we've seen that before. But it got replaced with the Black Series you see down there. I appreciate you joining me. I hope you stop by for our one-off Dome Pieces live stream. Or if you're not able to make it, if you have some questions, you put your questions down below and we're happy to answer them during that live stream. But with that, thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next video.